just like the human body you may give some tablets to cure your illness but you cannot recover so fast you cannot recover so soon similarly climate system also cannot recover so soon so this all these phenomena can be read in greater detail as you go through the subject huh? now <coughs> one column i will show you what that is called the killing cause huh? draw it from the book killing so it states how the carbon dioxide level has gone up since 19 so this car is monitoring has taken place from san gola this is the right side so sometimes i do this reading errors and it should not repeat what is said you know in 1958 the monitoring has started it was 310 to 312 people well, and now 2016 it is 400 people understand na tell you tell me what is the rate what is the rate in how many years it is right yeah 150 years huh? how much it has gone so much how much it is it is around 1.6 
you know, there is a hundred in plan. See, around 1900 year, it was 200 people. But now, 1950, it became 312, and 2016. So this period indicates a rapid growth, you know, rapid increase. So this part, 1900, it was 200 people. Now it is like this. It is because of post industrial evolution. So after 1900, most of the industries started growing up. That is, they started emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, both fossil fuel. So which are the industries which emits carbon dioxide? First is fossil fuel. The most important is cement factory. The most important is cement factory. The construction department. You understand, na? Cement factory uses the limestone. So it emits a lot of carbon dioxide, even much more than the fossil fuel. So because of this growth in the construction and use of fossil fuel in the way the carbon dioxide level grows up in the post industrial evolution. So follow this point. Na? Otherwise, in 1900 years, it was not so much. Clear, na? But another statistics, you know, when I remove it, another statistics what he says, you know, if you go to quaternary period, quaternary period is what it is, quaternary period, 2 million year or 1 million year, it was, 180 ppm in Cambrian period, Cambrian period, so then nobody is monitored from the rocks, you are getting this information. Quaternary period it was 180 ppm, means what? It was much lower, much lower the carbon dioxide level. And in the Cambrian period, it was much higher, you know, even much more than 400. So understand this part, no? So many geologists, you know, say, why are you so panicked with this 400 million? If it has become 400, it will come down somehow. Mother Earth will take care of. Because Cambrian period has witnessed such a high PP, high carbon dioxide level. So from Cambrian period 700 ppm, it came down to 180 ppm in cotton period. There must be some mechanism, you know. But mechanism is not washed with mother earth. So why are you so panic? That is why many developing countries, you know, they do not give much attention to this. You don't understand it quite now. If you start thinking that we will stop all the cement industry, we will stop all the Fossil fuel burning. It will only stop growth. It will stop the civilization growth. But it will not reduce this level. It will not reduce this level. This 400 ppm what figure you are getting na, is not entirely because of the cement industry or fossil fuel. That hidden factor, you know, nobody knows why this increase is happening. See, one direct implication of post industrial devolution is carbon dioxide. Is it responsible for 400 people entirely? You don't understand this part, na? I told you earlier, na? You might be ill. You might be ill taking some bad food. But is it the only cause for indigestion? Or there are some other factors for your indigestion? So this 400 ppm, is it entirely because of cement industry and the fossil fuel? Or there are some other causes that we do not know? Because the art history says, the Cambrian period it has 700 ppm. That time there was no cement industry, there was no fossil fuel body. But still then it has gone up to this extent. And from there, we have come down again to the normal level, 180 ppm. So probably Mother Earth will take care of. That is a many uh, developing nations, you know, 
they do not give much attention to this carbon dioxide. Now, need some time. Yeah? Yes. How much? Ah, I will draw another car. Huh? Now, see, this car, this is called killing car. Huh? Many ups and downs. Here. So, these ups are summer, May, the downs are October. October. Ops indicate May and down indicate October. So during May, what happens? Why the carbon dioxide level increases? And in October, why the carbon dioxide level increases? Like this, no? May is up, October is down. October is down. Because here, because of the summer, you know. Summer, lot of the plants they burn you. But here, the new plants grow. They take the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. That is why the carbon dioxide level goes up. Just like this was from the Indian point of view. This is the summer season. You must have heard about the forest fire. Forest fire. The grasses burn. The trees shed their leaves. Trees shed their leaves. Summer season, but when October, lot of greenery, new plants grow, cultivation grows, you know. So they take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, but in this case, carbon dioxide is left out. Understood this part, no? That is why this type of difference is there. Okay. So I will draw one more curve, that is, Telling this is that zero. This is point two to point six 
minus 5 into minus 5 into 0 0.6 minus, huh? minus, minus, minus. I'll explain this graph, maybe next time, but it is flowing. You can use that for some understanding, nothing very different. Right? This side is how much change is happened from the mean? Is it positive change or the negative change? The temperature of the earth and earth surface. From 1960, that is a positive change. Before that, it was a negative change. So these things we will discuss in the next class. Huh?